and also enable people to contribute. Okay, people has to contribute. A leadership is not a one-man job. Okay, leadership has changed from the past to the present. Right now, people say leadership is not all, and but leadership is a process. Okay, leadership is not the one. Leader is not the one take to um, for the one to take the credit, but it is the group that should take the credit. Okay. Um, now, a leadership is important. A good leadership is important because uh, from statistic, a good CEO and um, it will contribute an additional of two hundred and fifty million more. I mean, to the company, okay, and also it will improve the company's performance by fourteen percent. Now, so this shows that leadership does play in an important role. I mean, in an organization, okay. Now, people would question: Are we born a leader? Okay, is it uh, is it inborn or is it um, external influenced? Okay, now it really depends. Okay, now we look at some of the theories of leadership. Now, the first one is contingency theory of leadership, meaning that um, the three things: the first one, there is a leader follower. First, you've got to have your leader, and of course, you have to have your follower. If everyone is on the same ground, you don't consider yourself having the leadership position, okay? You have to have a certain of power in the group and to call yourself a leader, okay? And also, there should be some form of a task structure. You are the president, you are the secretary, you are the treasury, and so on. Okay, you have some kind of task. Okay, what is your responsibility? In that group, okay, who the leader holds a higher power. Next one is um, you can look in terms of two, like the one just now we talk about. Some leaders they are task oriented; their focus is to finish their things. Okay, their task is to win the championship. Their task is to bring OUM to a better level, to a higher level. And some it's more of the relationship oriented leader. This one they look more in terms of um, people's relationship, people's welfare. They try to make people happy within the organization. Um, these are more for PR people, and they just want to make people happy so that when people are happy, people would work happily. Okay. Next one, it's the path goal theory. Now, path goal theory it means by you should be able to clarify the behavior. Okay, when a good leader knows what he wants, what he or she wants. What is the purpose of that group, and what he or she exists for? He knows what kind of behavior um, his or her followers to have, and also some of the rewards, the punishment, the goals um, to be given um, to the people if they performed or if they did not perform. Okay, they also manage to reduce some of the role uncertainty. Secondly, is they allow people to be participative. They participate in as a leader. They let people participate, but they also participate themselves. Yeah. Next one is they work facilitate, meaning they plan, they schedule, they coordinate, they guide people. Many more. Okay, and also supportive. They should be supportive to some extent. Okay, when you are not supportive, people will not see you as a good leader. Last one is um, achievement-oriented behavior. End of the day, you want to achieve something. You want to achieve a, a sales target of a million, two millions. Okay, you want to have results. Okay, things that you can really see. Setting high goals, seeking improvement, or emphasizing excellence. Yeah. Now, some aspect of the contingency factors. Now, some characteristic of the followers. Now. Do you look in terms of internal or external point of control, or self-efficacy belief? Do does the do your followers perceive themselves to be able to um, finish the task by themselves or knowledge? Okay. Now, um, there are a lot of um, there are three main leadership theories available, which is the first one. It's transactional. Transactional here means like transaction. You give me what I want, I give you some of the rewards. Okay, that is called transactional. Okay, now you exchange your resources. 
and also you actively manage the people. You observe people, you evaluate people. And also sometimes they have some passive management. Next one is the laser fair leadership. Laser fair leadership, this is the most being criticized by other people. It is when the leaders do nothing at all. Okay, the leader is that just you do anything you like, I'm free. It's more of the freestyle. Okay? People say it's the least best, I mean it's a I mean, they call it the worst kind of leadership, but I do not think so. Seriously, I do not think so. Now, they say that a laser fair leadership, this kind of leader, they avoid responsibility, they try not to make any decisions, they will only be present when the followers need them. Okay, I, I think it might be go to too much of the extreme when you say that. Now, sometimes you have to look in terms of your followers. If your followers are capable enough and have sufficient knowledge and resources, you don't have to act like a transactional leader to force them or to keep observing them. Some people, they perform best when you least observe them and they can't perform when you keep observing them. You give them laser fair leadership, you give them the ability to do whatever they want, the creativity, you use their creativity um, to enhance the prof performance, your productivity in the organization. Now, um, I, to some extent, I like laser fa fair leadership, okay? But it still goes back to how well your followers are. If your followers know nothing at all and need your guidance, always, of course, go back to transactional leadership. But if your followers are as good as you, it's just that you have that extra advantage in becoming a leader. You always feel free to let them make their own decisions, okay? Next one is what they're talking about. Um, it's the transformational and charismatic leaders. What we require right now is less of this two and more of this one. Transformational leader. What do you mean by transformational? The first thing that a leader should have is a vision. We have said that without a vision, the people would perish, meaning that without vision, people would die. In anything you do as a leader, you need to have a vision. What is your vision? Okay? What is your objective uh, of the task or the group? Okay? After that, you do arrangement and you have a kind of influence towards others. Some people you ask, why do they have so many followers? They just say, I don't know, but he looks so charismatic. Okay? Now, um, some people are not able to give definite answers, but this kind of leaders, they are able to influence people. They are able to attract people, like the flowers attracting the bees to come for the pollen. Okay? Now, these people, they have a kind of um, aura, we call it aura, in influencing people, I mean, to follow them, to listen to them, and also to inspire people. What we want to do is we want less criticism and we want more encouragement and more improvement. Too much compliments is not a good thing because when you hear too much of that, you become deaf, okay? Give, it's very good when you give a definite, when you give definite um, improvement, a suggestion to the person to improve. When a person knows what to do, the person always wants to improve himself and herself, okay? So always give the person some suggestion, yeah? Inspire people to do their things, okay? Let them take their responsibility. And also, transformational leaders, they are able to take new challenge. They are not stuck in the old time, but they, are, they, are, they come to the new time, they want new things, they look towards the future, and they put other people's interests first. A transformational leaders, they don't put themselves first, okay? Now try to check up what the definition of transformational leadership, okay? It will tell you is that it is um, put up their own interest in the benefits of other people's interests. More, more so in the benefits of the whole group interest and the goals and the visions of the group and just putting themselves last and that makes them first, okay?